So where can you find velvet swimming crabs? Well, like a lot of crabs, best place to look for them is underneath rocks, especially low down the beach, close to the sea when the tide is out, because that's where you'll find most of the different types of crabs and bigger crabs. And we found a velvet swimmer, swimmer crab right underneath this rock here. So uh, let's see if he's still there. Lift up gently. Yep, he is still there. I'm going to pick him up gently. I'll pin him down just gently and get my thumb and forefinger behind his claws there. He's only got one claw, or he's got one growing back there, so he's lost the claw before, but it's starting to grow back. So why are they called velvet swimming crabs? Well, the velvet part of their name relates to the soft hairs on the back of their main shell, their carapace. Okay, so if I stroke this lovely little crab here, it actually feels quite smooth and silky and velvet-like. Uh, and the reason why they've got these tiny little hairs and they use those hairs to trap sand and sediment to help them camouflage, hide into their natural surroundings. The swimming part relates where well, you can see this one's uh, got his legs up nice and high to demonstrate them. These back legs are very different to the other legs that they have, or normal crab legs. They're flattened out like flippers. And if ever you've worn flippers before, you'll know that they're not very good for going running in, but they are excellent for swimming with. And that's what these crabs use those back legs for. They use them to swim through the water and they swim sideways, the same as crabs walk sideways. What do velvet swimming crabs eat? They are scavengers, just like a lot of crabs are, so they'll eat pretty much anything they can find that's on the sea floor. They'll scavenge dead animals and things like that. But they are also quite good hunters, better hunters than a lot of crabs are because they're quite fast. So they'll catch food like mollusks and crustaceans, even other crabs. Can velvet swimming crabs pinch you? Yes, they definitely can. They are the most aggressive species you're likely to come across when you're rock pooling. So certainly be careful handling them and actually avoid handling them if you're unsure. Mm -hmm.